Hello again everyone and welcome to the back garden yard. It's time to plant the fall vegetable crop. Most are going to be leafy greens. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the garden and we're going to plant uh, six different kinds of leafy greens. And first thing I'm going to show you is these are seeds I saved from the bok choy this year and you can see them in here and I'm going to pour them into this little bowl and you can see how many I got and this is how many I got and then I paid $1.99 for this little package of mustard seeds and we're going to pour it into the, the bowl on the left and compare. So, now I think it might be obvious why I save seeds. So for two dollars I got that many seeds and for free I got this many seeds and so uh, anyway I'm going to plant these. Uh, I had some mustard that I've been planting but I'm not really happy with it. I really like this India Florida broadleaf kind so I'm going back to it and of course uh, at the end of the year hopefully I can save some seeds from some of this. The problem with the mustard is the cold will actually just kill it dead so you have to let some go to seed early and collect the seeds before the the really cold comes in so it's a little harder to get this mustard seed but anyway that's enough of showing uh, why i collect seeds and uh let's go on out to the garden and take a look so it may be kind of hard to see what I've done here so I'm going to try to explain it and what I've done is I've made a trench all the way across the top of, of this area that I'm going to plant the uh, first uh, broadleaf uh, greens and so what I did was I made a trench so that if it rains really hard all the water that's going to collect from out here is going to come down to here and it's going to run off into this trench and then what it'll do is it'll come down here and it'll run through here and go out or the next section it'll run around and it'll go down through here and go out etc so i've done that so that when i plant i don't have to worry that my uh, new seedlings are gonna be washed away if we have a really, really hard, rainy, uh, something like we just had where we had uh, six inches in two days. And so every one of these little sections here has got a trench through it. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna literally fertilize it with 10, 10, 10. And then I'm also gonna work into that area some of this uh, compost and manure the evergreen kind is the kind I like and I've already got one bag that I have mixed into the soil out here it got wet in the rain and so I've mixed that in and let it dry out okay so now I've got the 10 10 10 out and I've already mixed in uh, the processed cow manure to each section so I'm gonna take this 10 10 10 and I'm throwing it in just sprinkling it on fairly thick to each section and you can see it there I hope uh, as I'm putting it on but anyway I'm not going to show you the whole thing I just wanted you to see how I'm putting it on and then I'm going to work it all in with the rake. So. Okay, so here's the first section and what I'm going to do is pull some of this dirt off the top 
and cover up some of this manure and fertilizer. Back on this side here, do the same thing. couple of leaves and weeds but I don't want to get it so low that uh, the water would flow through here and then I'm gonna run it through and get all the big clumps out and I believe that's good so what I'm going to do now is take the rake and just make a line And then I'm going to come through here about, I'd say, six inches from that, another line. And you get the idea, six inches from that, another line. Okay, so I've got three lines here, and in these lines, I'm going to plant. Uh, different seeds and that's what I'm going to do for for those and here's the next area and I'm gonna get the camera a little closer so you can actually see the fertilizer on top of the processed cow manure and compost Pulling some of this extra dirt. I don't need it piled that high. And then once again, I'm going to mix it all up and pull out the big pieces. And make the rows. Okay, and I'm going to prepare the rest of the garden in the same manner. So the first seeds that I'm going to plant, I'm literally going to sow them. And this, once again, is the bok choy that I saved. Now I have so many seeds, what I'm going to do is plant about half of them and then the other half I'm going to save for the spring in case I'm not able to save any this, this fall. But I'm just going to take a bunch of seeds and I'm going to sprinkle them into the ground. You can't really see where they're hitting, but I'm just knowing that I'm covering this ground completely. I'm going to take a bunch more. And I'm going to sprinkle them over on this side. And I think I've used about half of these seeds up. And they'll come up really, really thick. And I may want to transplant some out of here and just use this like a transplanting bed some. And when they come up real thick, they will support each other and it grows so fast this is the fastest of the vegetables I'm planting that uh, they'll make anyway so that's how I'm gonna do it and now I'm going to get the rake and just gently rake the top layer in starting from the bottom and working up So I'm literally just trying to put a little bit of dirt on these seeds. I'm not trying to plant them deep at all. And that's the way you plant most of the seeds is literally just to uh, barely cover them by just going side to side with your garden rake. And I think that's good. Okay, folks, so we're back. Now we've got the garden prepared, and for each row, 
I have actually put a line over where I'm going to plant the seeds and that's going to make it so it's so easy to tell when they start coming up that they're coming up and in the right place and when the weeds come up you can pull those up because you know they're not what you planted so uh, I've got the entire garden we'll walk down it we've got the entire garden laid out so that section we just looked at was going to be the uh, mustard greens the new ones that I'm planting this year uh, the broadleaf and then this is going to be Napa cabbage and this is going to be red romaine lettuce and some of y'all may have seen a video that I made on how to plant red romaine lettuce but I'll show you again and then this is going to be an Asian type of mustard that my wife likes to plant and so that's going to be in these three rows and anyway I'm going to come back now and plant some and we'll take a look at it so here it is it's called leaf mustard it's a purple mustard um, it's actually a, an Asian variety I guess and anyway we're gonna plant that here in the first section and what I like to do is I like to I'll just put the seeds down here I like to take the round end of the hoe and go right down the wire and make a little trench that way I know it's exactly under the wire and then any large rocks sticks whatever they're in that row just quickly pull them out and we've got our planting row right here and let's plant so we're going to get some seeds out we go that should be enough for that first row and I'm gonna let them come into my hand I'm going right down the wire right in the bottom of this row with those seeds okay and that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna plant the entire garden this way so I'm not going to uh, bore everybody with with doing this but now when I get it planted like this then I take the hoe again and come right down the same row just barely mixing in this soil because I just want them barely under there and plus when I put the water on them it's also going to put a little soil from the sides and your rocks that come on down you want to take them out all right and those are planted okay so um anyway i'm gonna go ahead and plant this garden and then at the end i will come back and i'll water it so what is this this big brown ugly thing this is a huge mass of tops of red romaine lettuce that i cut off a year ago and i'm still going to use these today to plant the garden with and so if we can look here I just pull off some and there's the seeds right there and so I've probably got thousands of seeds and so I can just pull them out crunch them up and I've got my lettuce seeds coming so anyway I'm gonna do that here for a few minutes get me a bunch of seeds go out there and plant the lettuce and we'll be right back so here's the seeds I got from the the mass of seeds there so I think this is totally sufficient to um, plant the garden here for the amount that I want to plant right now so I'll quit with this and let's go over and plant those okay so I have already used the hoe to make the little trench now I'm just going to take them and drizzle them out I've got five rows and I'm going to plant all the seeds in these five rows Okay. 
And so the logical question is, well, why didn't you sow them like you did the bok choy? And the answer to that is because I want them to come up into rows where I can actually support the little plants by taking some of this dirt and pushing over around the base of them. Otherwise, they fall over and the rain will beat them down. So that's uh, why I'm planting them in rows. And then the second thing is I will take pine straw and I've got the pine straw handy right here. I'll take the pine straw and put in between them and that way then when it rains it won't put all that dirt on the lettuce it won't be nearly as dirty so that's what we're doing and what i'm going to do now is let you see the seeds in the row the way i planted them so let's see if we can see that right quick and there we go you can see how they're sitting there nice in the row right under the wire so I know exactly what to look for when they come up so the next thing we're planting is Napa cabbage and the reason we're planting Napa cabbage is it's one of the favorites that the Asians like to make their uh, kimchi with so um, anyway we're gonna plant Napa cabbage and hopefully end up with uh, heads that look just like this so let me show you those seeds and they are very small almost as small as the mustard seed but I'm gonna take a lot of time on these and literally place them spaced apart because they, uh, I don't like to try to transplant these, so I want them to come up and just stay there, but they get so big, you want space between the plants. So they're not like lettuce and uh, bok choy. You want to go ahead and give some room. So that's what we're going to do here now, and I'll show you the first row, I guess. that's all we do and then we do the same thing we did before we get the hoe and we come through and we just lightly cover them up stirring the dirt around and now we've got Napa cabbage planted And so I'm going to finish planting the cabbage and then I'm going to plant the mustard greens up there. But at this point, I'm going to end this video and uh, I hope you liked it. I hope it was instructive for you. Uh, I'll be back really soon when the plants start coming back up to show you exactly what happened in another video. Or maybe I'll add some footage to this one. But, and of course, the final step is to water. You want to use the shower and you just want to make sure that you give them all a good gentle soaking so that you don't wash them up now that we've got them all planted and we're going to do this every day until they come up unless it rains only takes a few minutes no need to get the soaking system out and 
And since the high tomorrow is forecast to be 92, I will uh, be back out in the morning and I'll water them again in the morning and then again tomorrow evening. And then it'll just be once a day. But once you plant them, you can't let them dry out. Uh, even once they come up, you can't let them dry out. Of course, once the highs are just in the 80s, it won't be such an issue. But right now, we've still got summertime temperatures. So uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And it makes sure that other people will get to see this video also. And if you like content like this, please come back. And we will see you on the next video.